All right, so do you know what type of equation this is? And even more importantly, can you solve this equation? Now, what we're trying to do here is solve for the variable x, and let's take a look at the problem. We have e to the 2x plus 6 is equal to e to the x plus 4. Now, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So a is negative 2, b is 3, c is 5, and d is negative 7. Again, we're trying to solve for the variable x. Now, if you do know what type of equation this is, you should be able to solve this pretty easily without using a calculator. But if you want to use a calculator, that's fine. But either way, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through step by step exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's take a look at this problem one more time. So we have e to the 2x plus 6 is equal to e to the x plus 4. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I'm a little lost here. Uh, you're saying to solve for x, but we have another variable here, e. Okay, so you might be saying, well, e is a letter just like x is. Why aren't we solving for e? Well, you need to recognize what type of equation this is because e is not a variable in this problem. x is the only unknown value, so if you don't know what's going on, we'll stick around because I'm going to answer the uh, everything here in just one second, but let's take a look at the answer to this equation. The answer is A, X is equal to negative 2. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and A plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of exponential equations. And this is what type of equation this is. We're dealing with an exponent situation. In other words, the variable that we're looking to solve for is in the exponent uh, spot. So, for example, if you have 2 to the third power, this little 3 up here is the exponent. The 2 is the base. This entire thing is a power. But if we have a situation like this, 2x is equal to 8, well, this is a simple exponential equation okay this is how we would describe this equation and we're trying to solve for the variable x now in this simple problem two to what power is equal to eight what is the answer so hopefully you're saying i know what the answer is mr youtube math man uh, x has got to be equal to three because uh, two to the third power is eight and you would be right because two times two times two is eight but let's suppose we have this situation, 2x is equal to 10. So now what is x equal to? Well, this is a different ball game. And this uh, problem right here requires the use of logarithms. Okay, And that's what we're gonna, uh, really going to be talking about here. But obviously, we're going to have to address what E stands for, what E is in this particular problem. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So here is our lovely equation. Now, for those of you that still need to take math test, well, we have a multiple choice question here, okay? We also have an equation. This should be like a 100% almost, you know, uh, absolute guarantee that you're going to get the right answer. Now, what am I talking about here? Even if you don't know how to do the math, if one of these here is the correct solution, well, we can just kind of check to see which one works, right? If we understand enough about the problem. So when we plug in negative 2 right here, okay, you'll see that this works out. So let's just do this real quick. So e to the 2 times negative 2 plus 6 is equal to e to the negative 2 plus 4. So this is going to give me e to the what? Well, negative uh, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 6. Hopefully I didn't misspeak there, but you kind of see the math anyways. So negative 4 plus 6 is what? Well, that's 2, and that's equal to negative 2 plus 4. That's a positive 2 as well. So e uh, squared over here. So negative 2 makes the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. So by definition, 
this is the correct solution. Okay, now you can always plug in the rest of these values. Let's suppose you're saying, well, I'll start with three. Well, that didn't work. Five didn't work. Negative seven didn't work. Well, this is how you can always get the correct answer on a multiple choice uh, uh, math problem that involves equations. So you never ever uh, forget this step. But even if you forgot that step, just take a guess. All right, well, again, we have an exponential equation here because we're trying to solve for x. Uh, but I have not yet addressed what e is. Well, let's go ahead and do that right now. And then, of course, we'll talk about logarithms and how to solve this problem. Okay, so e in this problem is not a variable. Okay, you need to recognize e as something called the natural base e. And the natural base e is actually a number. It's very much like, like let's say, the number pi. So uh, pi is approximately equal to 3.14. This is what we call an irrational number. Uh, we have a decimal here that doesn't repeat and doesn't terminate. In other words, it goes on to infinity. So instead of trying to uh, uh, write out all the digits of pi, for example, we just say, hey, look, we're going to give it a symbol. This symbol here represents all the infinite digits of pi. Same thing with the natural base. Instead of writing out the entire uh, digit, which is impossible because it goes on to infinity. And by the way, the natural base e is approximately equal to 2.718, 28, et cetera, et cetera. You could pull this number up on your calculator, right? But re again, remember, you're only dealing with an estimation. Same thing as if you're, uh, you know, we're talking about pi. Now, the natural base E is so important, it basically gets its own little letter here, okay? This is an extremely important uh, number in mathematics. And as you uh, study exponential functions, uh, you'll see why. And this term, natural base, uh, basically is connected to something uh, called a natural growth, okay, or, or basically uh, we're talking about exponential growth, things that, in, let's uh, use, for example, population growth in nature, uh, you know, population tends to kind of grow like, say, so, okay, it grows exponentially, and uh, so a lot of things in nature, whether it's like, you know, bacteria growth or whatever the case is, has um, E connected to it. Okay, so I'm not going to get into a whole lesson about the natural base E, but just know that this number has connections to the rate of growth of a lot of things that occur in nature, i.e. natural base. All right, now as we talked about like something like 2 to the third power, 3 is the exponent, 2 is the base, so this is the natural base, right? E is the natural base. This is the base right here of these two powers and this right up here, these expressions, these variable expressions are the exponents. All right, so this is what we're dealing with. Again, E is not a variable, it's the natural base E and we're trying to solve for X. So what do we need to do here? Well, when we have exponential uh, equations as we do here, an exponential equation, we need to use logarithms. So here is a quick uh, kind of review. So when you see an exponential equation, so you need to recognize what type of equation you're dealing with. Like, okay, we have um, our variable in the exponent, so uh, exponent location, so this is an exponential equation. Your brain wants to say, all right, I need to use logarithms. So logarithms, this is a huge topic in math, but basically it's like the LOG button or the LN button on your calculator. Now, I'm not gonna um, uh, you know, basically go through Everything you need to know about logarithms and solving exponential functions, of course, we're going to know enough to solve this particular problem. But basically, when you have an exponential function, something like 2x is equal to 10, you need to think about using logarithms. And of course, I'm going to show you exactly how to use logarithms. Now, on your calculator, you have two log buttons, two log uh, functions. One is the LOG button. You can see that on your scientific calculator. This is the common logarithm. And pretty much you're going to use the common logarithm. This is log base 10, okay? You'll pretty much use this function for all problems, okay? With the exception of problems that have E as the natural base. When you have E as the natural base, you're going to use the LN button and it has its own dedicated little button on your calculator as well because that's how important E is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into exactly how to solve this equation now. All right, so we're going to use logarithms and specifically we're going to use LN. 
So when you have an exponential equation, what you're going to do is take the log of both sides, okay, the LOG of both sides. But in this case, we're not going to take the LOG of both sides. We're going to take the LN of both sides, which again is still taking the uh, logarithm of both sides, uh, LN. Uh, by the way, if um, I don't think I explained this here. Let me explain it right now. LN is uh, log base E, where LOG is the common log. That's log base 10. All right, so LN means log base E. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the uh, natural log of both sides, and let's do that right now. Okay, so it's going to basically look like this. And the reason why we do this is because we have a lovely property of logarithms that basically states that when we take the log of something, the exponent, we can drop the exponent down here. And actually, let me kind of explain this again. When we take the log of a uh, power, okay, something like this, we can write this expression right here this way, okay, which means uh, there's a property and it says that you could take the exponent and you could uh, put it right in front of the log. So we can drop the exponent down right in front of the actual log. And this is going to be the key to solving this problem. All right, so once again, we're going to take the ln of both sides, and when we do that, we can take these exponent expressions and put it in front of the ln e. Okay, so we have 2x plus 6 ln e and x plus 4 ln e, and here is where this problem is going to get super easy because if you know a thing or two about logarithms and natural logarithms, you know that the ln of e is equal to 1. And that's why I indicated you could do this problem without the aid of a calculator. So, um, you know, if you need help with this, I'm going to uh, suggest that you check out like my Algebra 2 or pre-calculus courses. You can find links to that in the description of this video. But uh, anyways, now that we have ln e is equal to 1, effectively what we have is this simple little basic algebra equation to solve 2x plus 6 is equal to x plus 4. And when we solve for x here, we will have actually solved this exponential equation. All right, so let's go to take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your help to continue to grow my channel. Um, as the, uh, the you know, for me posting this video, uh, you know, I'm making the video today and, uh, and I'm gonna post this video today. I'm already at, at 598,000 subscribers. I mean, I'm so uh, excited about that. I mean, basically, my hair is pretty much standing straight up. I'm like, wow, that is a long time, you know, um, you know, to kind of see these type of numbers because I've been on YouTube for like 10 plus years, but I never really, um, you know, started my YouTube channel with, you know, big numbers in mind. Basically, my goal is to help people learn mathematics and try to make math easy to understand and offer encouragement. But it is exciting, um, you know, to see that my channel has been growing and it just motivates me to try to you know do a better job on YouTube and what I'm trying to do is make math videos from basic math to advanced math up to let's say calculus so things from arithmetic all the way to calculus and everything in between uh, but uh, again my channel is all about encouragement and never ever giving up on yourself when it comes to mathematics. Math can be difficult for all of us, okay, including yours truly. So it's all relative, okay. So if you're struggling with math, you're not alone, okay. Uh, so don't give up. And again, if you need help with uh, the things that we're talking about in this particular video, uh, check out my pre-calculus course or my algebra two course. You can find links to those in the description. But make sure to help me out on this YouTube journey by subscribing to my channel and hitting, and, uh, hitting that notification bell as well. Thank you so much, and let's move on and finish up this problem because we're talking about basic algebra now. So remember, let's go back up here and do a quick review. So when we did this property of logarithms, and we took the ln of both sides, the log of both sides, we have um, 2x plus 6 ln e. ln e is equal to 1, so we just have 2x plus 6 is equal to x plus 4 ln e. ln e is equal to 1, so really we just have these two uh, things to, or uh, these two expressions, x, 2x plus 6 is equal to x plus 4. So we're, e are, we're uh, basically equating the exponents. Now up here, you could see the same thing right here. Okay, a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I didn't even do all that stuff, but I saw right here that the bases are the same, so the exponents must be equal. 
And that is good thinking too, if you're ever thinking in those terms. But if I, you know, I could be kind of uh, mean about it and put like 3LN2X. Now that would mean that you would actually have to do some work. And anybody, well, I don't like that, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, you know, again, you know, I bring up all these situations because if you easily identified, well, same base, well, the exponents must be the same. That's the only way this can, uh, these um, can be equal to one another. Well, that is good thinking. So let's go ahead and finish up this problem. We're talking about basic algebra. All right, 2x plus 6 is equal to x plus 4. We're going to solve for x. So we'll move the numbers on this side and the variables on this side. So we'll subtract uh, 6 from both sides of the equation here, and we'll subtract this x over here. I'm kind of doing two steps in one. Hopefully you can kind of see what's going on. And when we add everything down here, 2x uh, minus x is x. The 6s go away here. x minus x, x go away over on this side. And then we have 4 uh, plus um, or 4 minus negative 6, which is negative 2. So x equals negative 2 is the solution to this lovely exponential equation. All right, now this is a super easy problem. Um, and hopefully it was a nice little introduction to uh, the natural base E. This is just a real, real basic intro to it. Uh, you definitely have to understand how to work with natural logarithms and the natural base because a lot of the problems, especially the word problems you do uh, when you uh, study logarithms, have to do with exponential growth and decay. Things like radioactive decay or population growth or even things like compound interest. All these things have... Um, typically um, use or, or involve the natural base E. All right, so hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.